<laughs> Please don't laugh, guys. <laughs> it's below 75. <laughs> Bad. Ah, oh, so fucking bad, bro. But this team, uh, seems pretty fun. Greg and I didn't get to do much that game, but it was difficult into that Barathorn in the rain. I would... 70, 70, 74 is bad, bro. <laughs> for my standards, for my standards. But like I said, I was messing around a lot and RNG was not in my favor either. <clears throat> we don't really care, but I should win more games than I lose. <laughs> Right, 49. Yeah, but that's that's my standard, guys. Yo, Grave, what's what's up, man? So it's almost one, almost one a.m. here. So maybe we're gonna go keep going for like 30 minutes. We already got two games in, so I can probably make one video with that. <laughs> probably a bit more, but. Um, yeah, seems seems like a quite a difficult team to pull off. The rapid spin cloister. <laughs> the freaking rapid spin cloister. Now, nah, let's get it, guys. Twenty five. That's. Interesting. Oh, there's the Excadrill. Hold up, guys. Are we gonna do it to him straight away? Does he want to sh let me shell smash straight away? Not that he has a good switch into this. <laughs> he, he really doesn't. But Lucario is really something I don't want to see. He gets the curse body on me immediately, but I needed to remove the, um, the thing. And I know, I know he probably is going to taunt me here. See if he wants to do the double wisp into me. I think even with the burn, I will still kill the guy. Gets a double curse body on me. That kind of sucks, because without that curse body, he couldn't. He cannot set up set up Lucario versus me. That really sucks. That might just that might just cost me the game getting the curse, because he got the double curse body on me. Yeah, that might be it, guys. Because he's just gonna sword dance here on me, and there's nothing I can do about it.
There's literally nothing I can do about it. Because if, if he didn't get the cursed body here, he would he would just die to Psycho Cut, you know? Let's see if he's live orb though. Okay, he is orb. How do I play around this shit, bro? Gastronome beats this. It's gonna cost me. See if I can if I can do it with. Got it. Okay. Man. What days do I stream? Um, I don't have like a so I don't have like a solid schedule. Oh, getting cursed body there sucks, bro, but let's see if we can play around it. Let's see if we can play around this. Cool. I some somehow got get out got out of that shit. I thought he might try that, but still, I have a counter. He misses. I mean, he, he did get me cursed bodied, so... But Septo should be able to deal with this really well. Mm. Man. I needed to hit that shit, man. But at least he missed one leaf storm. Okay, we hit that. That's good.
I hate this game. I hate this fucking game. Okay, it wasn't gem. Jesus, man. Finally, bro. <laughs> I should already be winning with my uh, Galate at this point. SpongeBob SquarePants. Do we have some PvP tips for Bronze? Project Bronze Forever? I'm struggling a bit. Hey! What's up, man? Now I'm hitting the hurricane. Classical. Classic, classic, the classic. That should, that should be game. <laughs> Why not? Why not, bro? Why not? RNGs and do RNGs and doesn't want my win raid. <laughs> Freaking! Oh my god, man. You really froze me on that turn, huh? Not that it mattered, because I, I would have just sacked my Gastrodon on the following turn. I would have sacked my so that he could so that he cannot rapid spin and then I just kill him with Gallade. Oh but so much so much shit going against me there, guys. I get, my Cloister gets Skur's body. Meaning that he couldn't kill the um, he couldn't kill the, the, the Frostlass. Then I kill him with my Gallade, and then I get Curse Body, and his, his Lucario starts setting up. Then I literally had to outplay the Lucario's Life Warp, and then kill kill the guy. And then I missed the Toxic on Superior, which was important, because then I could roost on him with my Zapdos. Freaking hell. Like, he, sure, he missed a few Leaf Storms, but... I'm a freaking Zapdos, 
And it's specially invested as well, essentially. Let's play one more. This will be the last one then. And slowly fixing the win rate, guys. Slowly fixing the win rate. It's almost, go it's almost going back to 75. But it's just play well, play consistently. You should join our Discord uh, server, SpongeBob. Like we'll we'll answer more questions. Let me uh, let me link you guys to Discord. So freaking hot air as well. Oh, actually, it's where it switch is where it's at. Exclamation mark Discord. Join the Discord server, guys, if you haven't already. Definitely a good place to be. Why does it say 33 viewers? But yeah, one more game, guys. One more game. Really, this is really gonna be the last one because I, I have such a severe headache, man. I don't know why. I've been driving all day. Maybe that's why. Okay, we're playing into balanced. We're playing into balanced. He does have that mag magnet on, which is is a pain in the ass, though. Um, Gastrodon, pretty decent. He does have the ground type in Clyde score. All in all, looks like a tough game because he pretty much counters anything on my team. He pretty much counters anything on my team, but I think Septos could be really good into him. So we're just going to try. We're getting, a, we're getting an amazing lead into him. Decides to go into a Goliath score. Kind of interesting because I, I could have technically clicked Skull there, but... Who gives, man? Who gives? He, he decides to click Rocks into my Gastrodon. Interesting play. Interesting play. <laughs> okay, pack it up. Pack it up. He was really prioritizing the Toxic on me like that, man. That's crazy. That's crazy that he actually did that. That's one Leaf Storm. We're just counting him. We're just counting him. No leftovers? Why is he trying to beat down my Zapdos with, with Superior? Why? Yeah, switching out is not going to help him much. In this scenario. But my Zapdos should definitely be hanging in there. Especially with his Leaf Storms running out soon as well. I think he just got tilted missing the Toxic on my... On my Gastrodon. But there's literally no other move I need to click here. Especially since he revealed... Um, especially since he revealed that move. 
the Dragon Pills. So most likely doesn't have Giga Drain or something. And it, this was definitely an offensive superior. So my Zepto is doing God's work here. Getting rid of his Serp. Just like that. Didn't need to miss a Hurricane there. Okay. I, I do have Gastrodon. But I want I want to find out first um, whether he what his set is. I'm doing thirteen point seven, which is a lot, I think. The stealth rocker is basically dead. Pursuit did 43. It was likely AV. Just want to know if this sh if I should take this opportunity to set up uh to spin first. He might also be afraid there. So he's gonna stay in, but I just need to spin once. And that's gonna force him to defog as well. Does not kill me, which is great. Now I get in this guy. Does a really nice fire punch into me. Really nice on his on his part. Oh, he's running speed. Damn. I didn't think of that, but he's already screwed there. I didn't think he was running speed. <laughs> Not pursuit, but whatever. Um, This should be fine. Should be picking up a kill here. With the rocks up. So let's see what he sacks. Maybe just sacks this. So it, it kind of sucks that I lost my guy, but it is what it is. Could always attack me. But I don't think it's worth to get burned here. I'll use this, because I just need to weaken him. Him clicking Call Mind there is really interesting. This is fully Fist Death. This was many bus now. What I needed because I I actually needed to heal uh, my zap. And he decides to forfeit, and we win the game. Beautiful. Having Zapdos in right there, especially with Toxic, was really, really nice. But in that position, I had to put myself into position to kill the guy. Losing Metagross kind of sucked. I honestly didn't think <laughs> he, would, he, would, he would run max speed to Renatar with Pursuit. But he did it, and yeah, he paid the price for essentially 
clicking toxic. I understand why he wanted to do it because it helps his Suicune clicking toxic on me. But him losing Gliscor meant that my Zapdos just gets to Volt Switch around his team for free every time. Basically with zero counterplay. And if your defensive Pokemon are Suicune and many Buzz, you cannot have you cannot afford me to really Volt Switch into your team. You just cannot afford to. So he was better off trying to get back to full HP first with his Gliscor and then go for a Toxic on my uh, Gastrodon instead of doing it when he was basically dying to anything from my Gastro. Because even if he hit the Toxic, that's definitely a trade I would take. That's definitely a trade I would take. But him fire punching there into my Metag Metagross was really smart. That was really smart. I could have gone Gallade directly as well and kept my Mon, but I wanted to find an opportunity to Rapid Spin first so that I can heal my Zapdos back up. Which, because the moment I heal my Zapdos, it's basically donezo for him. Because I just I just Toxic the Mandibuzz right there, and then I can always Volt Switch into my Gastrodon from there. If he stays in, and then I can just switch back into my Zapdos. There was basically nothing for him to do. First, my Zapdos, the moment I get off the healing. That's why I also didn't want to switch it into his Suicune. Because if I did s switch in my Zapdos on Suicune and die to Ice Beam, or he clicks Scald and burns me, and Zapdos dies, that game becomes really hard. Because then I basically have to rush and roulette my win by going into Galate, cl click Sacred Sword, and hope he doesn't Scald burn me. He was crazy though. He was really crazy for clicking Calm Mind into my Galade. Because I could have 2 hit KO'd his Suicune. Because he already took Rock's damage. or And even if I got off my Sacred Sword damage, he would have been so freaking low to the point where he has to rest. And the moment he has to click Rest, it's Donzo for him. 